Goedemorgen. I'm not wearing my glasses yet because they're so dirty. Can you see that on screen? I don't know. They're pretty dirty. So I'm gonna wash them in a way that's very bad for your glasses. I'm never too careful with my glasses. It's mainly because my glasses cost me 50 euros. They're just basically the cheapest ones I could find. I remember that when I was moving, my glasses fell into the paint. And now you can still see paint. Nice and clean. Now I can see you guys. I'm gonna Skype with Yurian, and I know we Skyped yesterday night, but I don't know. Why not again this morning? Let me uh, ring him up on my banana phone. <laughs> hey, Yurian. Hello. <laughs> Long time no see. Yeah, it's been like. Ten hours. Goedemorgen. Goeie koffie. We're having breakfast at the same time. We're both eating sandwiches with hummus. Yay. <laughs> Skyping with Jurian took way longer than expected. It's already half past one. And I'm planning on going to an old Stasi prison. Now this is not an abandoned place. They turned this into kind of a museum. And there are tours there and I'm going to take one of the tours. And after that I want to go to a shopping center that is just for Asian food. So two really cool things today, but that means that I have to get going now before I'm going to be late. All right, let's go now, because if I buy quick, I'm just in time for the tour. We just watched the film and now we're going to go on a tour. You will see inside the window cells have glass brick in them. It means that the prisoner could never look outside the window. This is one of the reasons why 98% of all of the people ever taken here, no one never knew the exact location of this prison or how big this prison was inside. But a fake light was always on inside the cells. That was very disorienting for the prisoners. They would lose track of time and space very quickly. The cells here were constantly guarded. Usually it was from 10 in the morning until 6 in the afternoon. Uh, prisoners inside the cells were not allowed to sit or lay in the bed. They were forced to stand up inside the cells, otherwise they could be punished. That was usually done because during the 50s interrogations were carried out at night. So whenever you were, were allowed to take a rest here, you will be taken upstairs for interrogation. This room is also soundproofed. This is what it's called sensory deprivation. The person is not getting any stimulus. Yeah. Um, it must have been a very, very claustrophobic feeling. That's exactly why there is rubber here, so the person could not harm him or herself while being in there. The prisoner kept there was given food three times a day through the hatch on the door. And the guard here would provide uh, the prisoner with a bucket as a toilet through the hatch as well several times a day. The longest time that anyone was kept in one of these cells was 14 days. The last official document that we have regarding the use of these cells in this prison was in, it's dated on 1989 before the wall fell down. You can go inside and have so I just went on a tour of this prison. It was incredibly impressive. It's a one and a half hour tour. The girl was very passionate talking about everything. I got to know everything about the political persecutions. People weren't allowed to disagree with the dictatorship. If they did in any way disagree, they got arrested and put here. Free speech was not a thing here. You had no free speech, no reliable sources of actual true information. And as soon as you disagreed on something, you would be kidnapped and brought to jail. It's just insane. But as you can tell, I'm very impressed. And I'm gonna see the museum. These were the uniforms people wore. And these were all the belongings they were allowed. Everything you did was monitored and controlled. You weren't even allowed to sleep the way you wanted. There were two sleep positions that were allowed. And if you, in the night, in your sleep moved, they would wake you up and put you back in those sleep positions. During the daytime, you weren't allowed to sit or lie in your bed. It's crazy. These are some of the people that do tours here. The black and white pictures were the pictures from when they were arrested to this prison. And these are pictures of them 
today so these people all work in here got arrested stayed here and now show people around on tour i'm down an elevator to the cellars where there are more prison cells you can see these are the prisons we also saw on the tour and it's called the submarine because it's underground there's no light here very bad ventilation system i can definitely recommend you guys going it's not an easy museum but it's really special the wall only fell just before i was born it is so recent. Now I'm on a cherry subject. I'm in the Asian market area. It is so incredibly huge. I have no idea where to start. It's like seven or eight buildings, no clue. This is a vegan duck in a can, so it's vegan. This is a very interesting experience. These are several halls and they're filled with just Asian goods, little stores. I think you could take like six hours here, wow. my first things I bought seaweed snacks and also coconut milk. This is basically your local Asian supermarket but then times a hundred. Maybe I should get a new bell here. So this is the seaweed snack I got. There are eight bags in here. I love seaweed crisps. I don't know this brand yet and I picked it because it was the only one that didn't have a lot of E numbers on it. And some of the E numbers, I don't know. So then I can't really tell if it's vegan or not. They are so good. It made it look gross. This is so good. Yeah, so basically there's eight of these big holes and they're full of supermarkets, little shops, etc, etc. And I couldn't help myself, but I already ate two packs of the seaweed snacks. They're so tasty, guys. I can highly recommend seaweed snacks. Mm. I stopped just so I could capture this awesome graffiti for you guys. I'm checky. I'm checky. I was gonna say I'm happy I checked out the market, but then they came out. I checky. I am happy that I checked out the market. Got a few things, and I also went to the supermarket. But I have rice for making desserts, which is my favorite for not making desserts actually, because the round rice is really good. But then a big, big thing of coconut milk, three red peppers, bananas, capers and cherries. And I am one of those people that prefers the red and the yellow pepper and I don't really like the green pepper. Like I'd happily eat the green pepper, it's not gonna go to waste, but I just prefer the red one. So this, <laughs> or one with yellow and red or just yellow. I love this. Yay Germany. And I'm also a big fan of capers. They are so tasty. I'm saving those to make pasta later on this week. I'm gonna make a healthy curry with lentils, coconut milk. Here are my lentils. Lots of garlic, potatoes, broccoli, carrot, just all the good stuff. Because I'm pretty hungry, I'm gonna eat about half of all the cherries whilst I cook. I had my curry and for some reason, I really feel like a snack. So I've got a seaweed snack here. And I totally forgot about the dessert here I bought me, so now I'm gonna have this. And this is new from El Pomo Soya. At least I had not seen it until a month ago. It's like a very thick yogurt. Most soy yogurts are very runny, but this is super thick, like Greek yogurt. And like I love soy yogurts, but it's not a yogurt to me. It's, it's nice, but it's a whole different thing. This really gives me the yogurt feel, so I can recommend this. Don't tell anyone, guys. I might just have eaten four packs of seaweed snacks. Thanks, Yurin, for getting me dessert. Yum, yum, yum. I've been procrastinating it hard, guys. I've not really been editing a lot until already 12 o'clock. This is gonna be a late one, but that's completely and totally my own fault. I'm done with editing. It's half past two. It took me about three hours, but I'm broken now. So tired. I have to wait half an hour for it to export, and I think I'm gonna have a nap. Then wake up to upload the video and then go to sleep, because I can't keep my eyes open anymore. I guess my new rhythm is trying to kick in a bit, which is good. I have my little nap. My video is uploading. So so I can finally go to bed. Let me close the curtains before. Ah. 
The morning sunshine wakes me up. Sweeties, thank you a bunch for watching. I'm gonna have such a good sleep. I seriously can't wait. Ooh. You see? Bye. Bye, guys.